Hey what's up guys my name is Pavinda from PNP Tutorials and you're watching the PNP Tutorials channel and in this video we are going to convert a Raspberry Pi 4 into a portable Wi-Fi router. This video is sponsored by Spice.com. Spice.com is a cyber security search engine which provides you the services like subdomain finding, IP version 4, port scanning and AS records lookup, NS records lookup, DNS records lookup and much more. So don't forget to check out the spice.com link is given in the description below. So here you can see guys here we have the Raspberry Pi 4 1 gigabyte model and on top of that we also have the ice cooling cooler which keeps my Raspberry Pi very cool. And for your information guys I have actually installed the Raspbian Buster Lite on my 8 gigabyte of SD card and I have inserted that SD card into this Raspberry Pi and I've also plugged in a LAN cable into it. Now I have also created a file called SSH into the boot directory of my Raspberry Pi. So after doing all these things, I'm actually ready to do the SSH into my Raspberry Pi. So let me just quickly open up the PuTTY session so that we can do few things into our Raspberry Pi. For now, the IP address of my Raspberry Pi is 192.168.1.13. The username will be the Pi and the password will be raspberry now first of all we will have to install a tool called dns mask queue into a raspberry pi so for installing the dns mask queue i'm actually making the use of this repository this is the github repository created by arpit jindal so huge shout out to arpit jindal if you want to check out his github repository then link is given in the description below first of all let me just copy this command and that command will actually install the dns mask queue sudo apt install dns mask queue and this thing is already the newest version into my raspberry pi you might have to press y here to install this now let us also install one more tool and that tool is host apd and that tool will actually help us to create the hotspot from the raspberry pi wi-fi chipset let's hit enter now here you can see guys host apd is also the newest version now the third thing that we will have to do is to just clone this repository simply clone this git is not found so let me install git first now let's clone our repository it has been cloned into raspberry pi recipes now let's go inside this directory and here you can see guys we have multiple files the file that we are going to use is ethernet to wi-fi root so let me quickly open this file with sudo and nano so this is basically the configuration that will be used for the router so i would like to change the ip address to 192.168.1.1 now i will also change the dhcp start range from 1.2 to 1.100 and I will specify the Ethernet interface as ETS0 and of course if you're using some external USB Wi-Fi adapter then you will also have to specify the WLAN interface for now I'm using the default Wi-Fi chipset of Raspberry Pi so that's the reason why I'm using WLAN0 as the WLAN interface and then if you want to change the Wi-Fi name then you can change it here for now I will keep it as Raspberry pnp and you can change the password as well for now i'll keep it as default that is raspberry now right after that you need to press ctrl x and then y and then hit enter what that will do is it will actually save the content into your file now we will also give the permission to this file to execute now if you see the file has been changed into the green color that is ethernet to wi-fi root now what we want is whenever a Raspberry Pi will boot this file should be automatically executed in order to get the Wi-Fi hotspot. So for that what we will do is we will actually put the path of this file into a file called .bashrc. I will suggest you to copy this file ethernet to Wi-Fi root .sh on the home directory. So I will copy this file on the home directory. Now I will go back. And now here you can see guys we have a file called Wi-Fi to eth root.sh. Now what I will do is I will actually open up that .bashrc file. 
sudo nano dot bash rc now we will put that file name here so that it can execute on the boot time scroll down to the bottom using the arrow key now here you can see guys I have already specified that it should execute and we are executing this with the bash tool using the sudo so please press ctrl x together and it will actually save the changes now our next step is to auto log in the raspberry pi as the root user since we are running this file with the sudo so pi is not a sudo user so we will have to log in a raspberry pi with the root user for that what we will do is we will actually go inside a file called this hit enter scroll down to the bottom and here you can see guys here we have a line called execute start nuclear hyphen a root so by default this line will not be there in this particular file i will give this line in the description area so that you can put it here and after that you need to press ctrl x together and then y and then hit enter what that will do is it will actually allow your raspberry pi to auto login with the root user and as soon as our raspberry pi will get auto login it will execute the dot bash rc file from the dot bash rc file or eth2 wi-fi root dot sh file will automatically get executed so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna reboot my raspberry pi and i hope we should be able to get the hotspot into our windows pc let's reboot it for now here you can see guys we don't have any hotspot with the name raspberry pi pnp we are waiting for that to come up here and we are not doing anything we have just rebooted our raspberry pi and it should be able to give us that hotspot and there we go raspberry pnp now let's click on connect now i will enter the password as raspberry which was the default password into that file now click on next click on yes now we are connected to the raspberry pnp now let's quickly do some speed test speedtest.net now let's click on go my internet connection speed is around 100 mbps and right now what i'm getting is close to 50 mbps so that's not bad because right now there is bridging also happening from my wi-fi router to the raspberry pi hotspot so i think that's a nice speed you can say now let me quickly also try to connect from my mobile phone to this Wi-Fi hotspot. So you just saw guys I was able to connect my Android mobile phone with the Raspberry Pi hotspot and I was able to get around 60 Mbps of speed as well. So that's it for the video guys. Happy Diwali to all of you. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video then give it a big thumbs up. If you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.